Creole Parametric 9.0 added the ability to rotate your model using the arrow keys on the keyboard, which is great if you're ever trying to work on an airplane or you forget your mouse. Let's take a look at how to do it. The first way is by holding down the shift key and using the arrow keys. So for example, I'll hold down shift and then let's use the up arrow and the down arrow and the left arrow and the right arrow. The next method is by using shift and the alt keys. That will allow you to spin about an axis normal to your screen center. Let me hold down shift and alt and now I'm going to do up and down arrows left and right and I'm going to let go of the keys for a second. I want you to take a look at the spin center in the center of the model. When I let go of the two keys, the spin center moved back to its original location. We can see that even more dramatically if I turn off the display of the spin center. I'm going to move my model off to the side. Let's move it over here. So now let's try rotating. If I hold down the shift key and then start using my arrows, you can see that we're basically rotating around the model's spin center, even though the spin center is not visible. But now when I hold down shift and alt and use my right arrow, you can see that we are rotating about a spin center at the center of the screen. We can see that our basically arc of rotation is much bigger. Let's take a look at how we control the amount of rotation. I will go to the file menu and then options. And then if you go to model display in the appearance group, here we have the default rotation angle. You can see that we have everything between 15 and 90 degrees. If I hold my mouse over the name of the option, here you can see that we have a tooltip that says rotation, but the actual config.pro option is rotation angle. Let's go to configuration editor, use the find button. I'm going to search on the word rotation and hit the enter key. Here you can see we have rotation angle. Default value is 15 degrees, and you could change that to increments of 15 degrees all the way up to 90 degrees. So that's how you can now spin your model using the arrow keys in Creo 9.